Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning, South Africa. Welcome. Here we are with one more Workers' Prayer. You know, something very interesting, it is when people have a court case, a problem with the law, they hire a very good lawyer. And when they find him, they feel so confident and happy. Why don't you let Jesus take, take care of your affairs? Why don't you put your life, your problems, your challenges in his hands? He has the power to transform your life, to give you a great brand new life. Just, just call him and he is going to help you. My name is uh, Zueli Dumilim Twisha. I came to Johannesburg at the age of 19. I came with a friend to look for a job and we couldn't find any job. And I started uh, having places to stay with uh, strange people that I did not know. Uh, I started finding a job there, finding my own place to stay, a room, but in the process, drinking, smoking, having girlfriends, and the job would finish, I would go back to suffer again. And I used to find, try to find out, what do people do in order to change their lives? What is, or do they, is there a secret behind each and every other person's life that maybe I don't know? One day, as I was going through the streets of Johannesburg from looking for a job, I passed a building and I found people who invited me inside the building only to find out that they were inviting me for a spiritual treatment. They taught me how to pray. And as a result, it didn't take me long because I had the willingness inside of me to change my life. And eventually, as I was attending the spiritual treatment, the desire to drink stopped. And my life improved. It improved in a great deal as a result that I found a job, a stable job. And from that job on, I managed to find a proper place to stay that was stable. I managed now to take care of my life, to take care of myself. I engaged myself in the chains of prayers, in the movements of faith. I started seeing the positive side of life. God inspired me to start a construction company and it succeeded, it was doing very well. And from that construction company, I started going into transport business. From the transport business, I started going into a property business. And uh, I've got a family. I've got uh, two uh, beautiful sons. Uh, one is a professional soccer player, and the other one is in university. And my life is happy. You see what happened in the life of Zueli can happen in your life as well. Great things can happen. But the problem is if you have been put in your confidence in things and, and places and people who do not inspire you, make partnership with Jesus. He is going to change your life. Let us pray right now. Father, I bless this glass of water and I bless the hands of all the workers of South Africa. I bless them for them to have the intelligence to make partnership with you, to let you take care of their affairs, to guide them, to give them wisdom, wisdom which will certainly bless their lives like, like Zueli was blessed, talking about his victories with a smile on his face. Oh, my Father, bless our country, I pray. Give them strength to change. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Would you like to start a partnership with Jesus today? Visit one of our UCKG branches. We are going to teach you how. Tomorrow, 5 to 6 in the morning, we are going to be back to inspire and bless your life. Until tomorrow, God bless you all. Bye-bye. Workers' Prayer.